Hi, welcome back to my channel Physics 14 KSSM. We continue chapter 2 Forces Hand Motion 1 on topic 2.1 Linear Motion Part 3. In this video, I will discuss on linear motion equations. And there are two learning standards. The first one is derivation of linear motion equations. Second one is solve problems involving linear motion with uniform acceleration. Okay, there are four linear equations. The first one, V equals to U plus AT, S equals to half bracket U plus VT, S equals to UT plus half AT squared, and V squared equals U squared plus 2AS. I hope you still remember the symbol that used in this linear equation. U, initial velocity, V, final velocity, A, accelerations. T time taken S at its displacement. Okay, maybe some of you might ask, shall I memorize these equations? Yes, huh? you are also required to derive these equations. Some of the formula maybe you can find in the list of formula in the exam paper. So it's very important for you all to know how to derive huh, these four equations. You can refer to your textbook how to derive the equations. Okay, look at this situation. This is a car. At time taken equals to zero second. Initial velocity is u meter second to the power negative one. After some times, t second, displacement of the car is s meter. The car accelerate with acceleration a meter second to the power negative 2 and it achieve final velocity v meter second to the power negative 1. So actually this linear motion equation is for motion with constant acceleration only. So let's look at how we derive the equation. The first linear motion equation we get from the definition of acceleration. If you still remember, definition for acceleration is rate of change of velocity. Or we can write as final velocity minus initial velocity divided by time taken for change of velocity. Thus, we have A equals v minus u divided by t. We rearrange the formula, make it v as a title, thus we get v equals to u plus a t. So this one is the first linear motion equation. For the second linear motion equation, we use this formula. Displacement equals to average velocity multiplied time. Actually, this one coming from the formula of average velocity it means for the whole motion, displacement is S meter. Average velocity. Why average velocity? Because from t equals to 0 to t second, velocity keep increasing. So we talk about average velocity means initial velocity plus final velocity divided by 2. So it becomes half times u plus v. This is average velocity. So to determine displacement, we use the formula of average velocity. Thus we get displacement equals to average velocity multiplied time. Thus we get displacement s equals to half bracket u plus v times t. So this one is the second linear motion equation. For the third linear motion equation, so we just use the method of substitution. We just substitute equation 1 into equation 2. So what do you do? V in this equation 2, you substitute with u plus at. So you can see here, v substitute with u plus at. 
and then we can simplify thus we get s equals to ut plus half a t squared we get the third linear motion equation how to get the fourth one from equation one square both sides okay meaning it become v square equals u plus a t squared you open the bracket so thus we get v squared equals to u squared plus 2 u a t plus a squared t squared okay from here what you do is factorize 2 a eh, out thus we get v squared equals to u squared plus 2 a thus this one will become u t plus half a t squared if you look at this expression u t plus half a t squared from equation 3 is equals to s thus we can substitute this part with s so we get v squared equals to u squared plus 2 a s then we get the equation 4 so you must be able to derive uh, these uh, four equations okay you can use uh, the situation uh, like this situation a car moving uh, with constant acceleration okay let's look at some example how to use the equation so for tips for answering this type of question is you must read through the whole question then list out all the information given the information about u v t a s okay you list down first then you can identify which linear motion equation that's suitable to be used okay so from here a bus move from rest sometime given uh, some clue uh, for the value of the u for example this one at rest okay acceleration 2 meter second negative 2 for 5 second calculate its velocity after 5 second so initial velocity u equals to 0 meter second negative 1 this one not given but you must be able to interpret eh? uh, what given here rest meaning initial uh, initial velocity 0 time taken 5 second acceleration a 2 meter second negative 2 final velocity is the one that we need to find okay so from here we have u t and a eh? there's no s given okay so from here we can calculate for v using the first equation v equals to u plus a t so v equals to u plus 2 times 5 so we get 10 meter second to the power negative 1 Example 2, as a sport car moves along a straight track, its velocity is 40 meter second negative 1. After 3 seconds, the sport car has reached 50 meter second to the power negative 1. Calculate displacement. So we list out all information. So we have U equals to 40 meter per second, V 50 meter per second, T 3 second displacement. We need to find. Okay, so from here, there's no A given. Eh? So we use the second formula. S equals to half U plus V T. U 40, V 50. T is 3 seconds. So you substitute, you get S equals 135 meter. Example 3, an athlete starts his run from rest and achieve a maximum velocity after accelerating uniformly for 8 seconds. If the displacement of the athlete is 40 meter, determine his acceleration. Okay, so list out all information. So you get initial velocity 0 because the word here, rest position. So u equals to 0 meter per second. Time t equals to 8 seconds. Displacement s equals 40 meter. You need to find a. There's no information of V. Eh? So we use the third linear motion equation. So S equals to UT plus half AT squared. 
substitute all the values S for T, initial velocity 0, T8, and here T also 8. Eh? So you get A equals 1.25 meter second to the power negative 2. Example 4, Maria rides a bicycle at velocity of 8 meters second negative 1. She brakes suddenly and stops after a distance of 2 meters. What is acceleration of Maria and her bicycle? So list out all information. You have U equals to 8 meters per second. V equals to 0 meters per second. Displacement S equals to meter acceleration that we need to find. Okay. So here not given is T. So the most suitable linear motion equation is the fourth equation. So V squared equals to U squared plus 2AT. So we get 0 squared equals to 8 squared plus 2AS. Eh? S given is 2 meter. So you get A equals negative 16 meter second to the power negative 2. So negative value shows that Maria accelerates at 16 meter per second squared in the opposite direction eh, to the motion of the bicycle. Okay, you can continue. Answer formative practice 2.1. You can try to answer. Then you can come back and check eh, the, the answer in this part. Explain the difference between distance and displacement. So the first one, you need to explain eh, the difference. You can use table eh, to show the differences. Distance is, is length of road travel and displacement is distance travel in a specified direction. Distance is scalar quantity while displacement is a vector quantity. So it depends on how many marks are provided for this question. If given two, meaning you must take two differences. Okay, B, speed and velocity. Speed is rate of distance travel. And velocity is the rate of displacement. Speed is scalar quantity while velocity is vector quantity. Okay, number two, a car moving along a straight road at velocity of 30 meter per second reduces its velocity at a constant rate until it stops after 5 seconds. What is acceleration of the car? Okay. So the information given here is a velocity Initial velocity 30 meter per second. Final velocity 0 because stops. Time taken is 5. You need to find A. There's no inform information about S. So we use the first linear motion equation. V equals to U plus A T. V equals 0. U 30 plus A times 5. So you saw for... Uh, for A, you get negative 6 meters second, negative 2. So what you can see with the value, negative value, meaning the car accelerates in opposite direction. Okay, number 3, Aina writes a smart personal transporter at the Padana Botanical Gardens. The transporter accelerates uniformly from velocity of 1 meter second to the power negative 1. To velocity of 5 meter second to the power negative 1 in 0 0.5 minutes. So from here given information is initial velocity u 1 meter per second, final velocity 5 meter per second, time taken 0 0.5 minutes. So you need to find displacement s. There's no a given so we use uh, the second uh, linear motion equation s equals to half u plus vt so equals to half 1 plus 5 times 30 because given here is in minutes you need to convert to second eh? 0 0.5 times 60 you get 30 second so you get the answer is 90 meter okay so that's all for this part